Don't be too upset with me, pet. I'll only be gone just a little while. I... I'm not sure how many days, but certainly no more than three or four. I will be back quickly, I promise. I know it was sudden, but... I... There are some things that I need to investigate, Pat, do you see? And... Uh, I... Worry about taking you with me. Hmm. Now about this pet. After I come back, we can go somewhere nice. I will take you with me the next time I leave, and we'll go somewhere where it is more relaxing and something more of a vacation, if you will. Just the two of us. How does that sound? Hopefully it is enough to convince you to forgive me. <laughs> That's a good bet. I knew you'd understand. <sighs> no, pet. I'm afraid that I cannot tell you. What I am doing and where I am going is... A bit of a secret, I suppose. Not forever. I will inform you. Well, we'll see. I just need to follow up on a hunch. <laughs> no, you can't come with me. As I've said before, you must stay here. It is... Safer for you, pet. And, darling, you know that your safety is more important to me than anything. It is safer for you to stay here, where there are others here who can protect you. And you are not in a more dangerous situation. If you were to get hurt, darling, I... I don't know that I could forgive myself. <laughs> Darling, you needn't be concerned about me. I can assure you that I am quite capable of defending myself. If the need should arise. And I am not guaranteeing that it will. I am a bit more protective of you than I am of myself. You are... Well... <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, pet, but you are much more fragile than I am. It is simply a state of you being human as compared to myself. I really don't wish to leave you so early, darling. Well, to leave you on your own at all. But I really must be going. I must find out the answers to my questions. I trust you to handle things while I am gone, as you always do. Good pet. Thank you. Come here. I won't be long, I promise, pet. Like I said, no more than a few days. You'll hardly have time to miss me. <laughs> Be good for me. Good evening again. I do know that it is quite late, but I hope you do not mind. 
I just came to deliver something for the Countess. Oh, she is not here. Hmm. How peculiar. Did she leave recently? I mean, she was here just last night. Oh, an urgent errand. Oh, I see. Hmm, a pity. I made these specially for her. Hmm. I'm afraid that I can't just leave them either. You see, they're quite fresh and... Well, I'm afraid that they aren't going to be worth much if they're not eaten quite quickly. Mm. Oh, I know. <laughs> Why don't the two of us enjoy them? Oh, fish posh. I made them. I can decide who gets them. I know the Countess wouldn't like these to be gone to waste and end up in the bin. <laughs> come, come. I think a nice, lovely, hot cup of tea would go very well with these. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yes, it is quite chilly tonight, isn't it? Well, I suppose that's nothing that a nice hot cup of tea can't help. <laughs> and though it was a long journey, I do think these will still be quite warm. Oh, no need to worry yourself. I certain I can do it. I do know my way around the kitchen. Mm. Well. If you insist, won't you at least let me put the kettle on? It's the least I can do. I am intruding a little after all. <laughs> yes, I think I can handle putting on the kettle. So, your mistress left. Was it something urgent? I hope nobody's hurt. I hope everything's all right. Oh, thank goodness. Did they not want to take you? You feel such a shame to leave you. You're such a good pet. Well, <laughs> I suppose that works in my favour. After all, I have some company, and my biscuits and my dime was not wasted. Well, of course, baking for the Countess is never a waste, but it would have been a pity if no one could enjoy them. Don't you agree? Ah, uh, here, please let me pour them. Sit. I can manage the pouring of tea. For you. And for me. And here. <laughs> Pick whichever you find most appealing. I'm sure you are quite the discerning eye. Now. Mm. Tell me, pet. Have you thought at all about my proposition from yesterday? Yes. I... Mm, I suppose it wasn't that clear, was it? I was... Oh... I have grown quite fond of you already. And... Yeah, well, perhaps they call me foolish. Love at first sight has always been something that has been frowned upon. But I do fancy you an awful lot. And as a human, I don't think you would be affected by the curse. I promise you won't. Yes, I do have a fiancé currently. But, oh well, you see, he's one of my own. And though I love him dearly... It's not the same love I feel for you, and, 
well, I just know that well, he wouldn't survive the year. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. <laughs> I was right in my suspicions then. You certainly are the Countess's favourite. <laughs> well, I guess I am a little late to this then, huh? <sighs> oh, pity. Are you sure I can't change your mind? I promise I'm quite kind. I would be as good to you as the Countess would. <laughs> I suppose you are quite a loyal pet. And who could blame you? After all, the Countess is quite... charming. In her own way, she is very intelligent and she is so sure of herself, isn't she? <laughs> well, it won't be the first time I've lost to her. So, I guess I will concede this one. Mm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> forgive me. I am a little... distracted, and I suppose I was staring a little too much. It would make it very difficult to eat while I'm staring at you while doing so, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure the Countess has told you that the Blood Moon is here soon. S y you don't know about the Blood Moon? Oh, goodness, darling. Hmm. I'm surprised that she hasn't told you. Oh, perhaps that is why she left. Of course. Well, you see, the Blood Moon... Well, it happens infrequently, as I'm sure you know. Um, the phenomenon is known. What it does to vampires is unknown, as secret as we are. <laughs> Which is to say, perhaps not as secret as we should be. A blood moon. It... It has a tendency to... Rile us up. Even the most civilized of us have some incredible degree of bloodlust that is too hard to control oftentimes. And oh, to have somebody nearby, well, it does put them at risk, so we do occasionally leave. I suppose I should have known, but I've never heard of the Countess ever being affected enough by the Blood Moon as it approaches that she would leave her people. She's usually in such good control. Oh, yes, she is... <laughs> She is very good at controlling everything. People's emotions and her own. Her own bloodlust as well. She is admirable in that. She is not as affected by it as most. Well, perhaps that isn't quite right. In fact, perhaps she is more affected by it than most. I mean... I don't think I've ever seen her feed past her first few years. She's quite private about it. She doesn't like to hurt people after all, and she values humans just as much as this vampire. As one of her own kin, even. But she is usually so good at controlling it. Perhaps it's just built up so long, and she's so afraid of taking you with her. Oh, you needn't fear me, though. Uh, the Blood Moon is a few days off. <laughs> it gets a little... hard to focus, I suppose you could say. Like a treat being waved in front of you. 
but still too far to reach, and you're still well in control to not reach for it. It's the day of that is dangerous. There can be some incidents before, but I assure you I am in control enough not to do anything. I know better. <laughs> yes, I would say for your own protection she probably left to isolate herself, perhaps find somebody else to feed on so that she didn't hurt you. But, well, the Countess can be quite mysterious when she wants to be, though normally quite honest. She does have a way about her sometimes. How did you like the biscuit, by the way? Was it good? Please have another. Oh, no, I don't want any. Thank you, though. I am much content with my tea, and while the Countess has a sweet tooth, I am not terribly partial to them. Oh, I just wish to enjoy your company, and <laughs> admittedly warm myself up a little before I had to go back home. Aren't they lovely? I do fancy myself a good cook. An even better baker. And if you'll let me, an even more superior lover. Ah, I am of course teasing you, darling. That is, unless this is starting to take effect. Are you feeling woozy? Little dizzy, perhaps. Are you perhaps starting to hear things? Are you perhaps starting to hear me differently? What is it that she calls you all the time? Pet? Much like I do? Yes, I believe that's what the Countess calls you. Pet. Oh, Pet. You're looking a little pale. Are you feeling alright? Let's get you off to bed. You look so tired and a little delirious. <laughs> oh, darling, don't worry about it. I am, after all, your beloved Countess. Come on, pet. We're going for a short ride.